coordinating effort this morning. Just so you're not confused, we're doing the anti convenient thing. I'll be the uh, presider at the first part of our service, and then we have a couple of roles for the people in the back to turn on the book. And this is Bob Gary, the one in the window. We'll fit that into the service as we go along. Thank you. 
Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be your kingdom, now and forever. Amen. You join me in prayer, Almighty God, to you all our hearts are open, all desires known, and from you the little secrets are there. Cleanse the thoughts in our hearts by the inspiration of our Holy Spirit, that we may be perfectly loved you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us sing praises to God the Lord.
even though there are no gods? But my people have changed their glory for something that does not profit. Be appalled, O heavens, as if be shocked to be utterly ashamed, says the Lord. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water, and dug out cisterns for themselves, and cracked cisterns that hold no water. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing with joy to God our strength. Let us read portions of Psalm 81 responsibly by half verse, repeating the refrain at the end. Sing with joy to God our strength. And raise a loud shout to the God of Jacob. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and said, Open your mouth wide. Oh 
Jesus was going to the house of the leaders of the Pharisees to eat a meal on the Sabbath, they were watching him closely. When he noticed how the guests chose the places of honor, he told them a parable. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not sit down at the place of honor, in case someone more distinguished than you has been invited by your host. And the host who invited both of you may come and say to you, Give this person your place. And then in disgrace, you would start to take the lower place. But when you are invited, go and sit down at the lowest place, so that when your host comes, he may say to you, Friend, move up higher. Then you will be honored in the presence of all who sit at the table with you. For all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. He said also to the one who had invited him, When you give a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors, in case they may invite you in return, and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, and you will be blessed, because they cannot repay you. For you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The young people in the congregation can come to the chancel stairs. In the meantime, all the older people can take bets on whether I can still get up again. <laughs> The gospel today was important, but very simple. It's about having a party. But it says in this party, and it's a party that has to do with a wedding. And it says that don't just put people who are rich or famous or important up at the head table but put some people who are poor at that table, too. A long time ago, maybe a hundred or so years ago, in Russia, they had a royal family. They had the Tsar and the Tsarina, his wife, and the Tsarevich, the uh, prince who would become the next Tsar. And lots of times in the summer, they had a summer place, which was probably nicer than your summer place. <laughs> but they would go there, and there was a church nearby. So when they would go to church, they would all dress like peasants, like farmers. They wouldn't wear furs or jewels or gold of any sort. They dressed just with a pair of pants for the men and the untucked shirt with a belt around it so that when they went into that church they wouldn't be dressed any different than the people who worked around the farms. They weren't perfect people but they did that right. They wanted to make sure that at the Eucharist everybody was the same because everybody is the same at the Eucharist. And we're about to celebrate the Eucharist and in the Eucharist we believe that all people who have gone before Parents and grandparents, parents, sometimes unfortunately children, friends, all those people are present in the Eucharist. But we believe that somehow the blinding light of Christ is so bright that you can't see any difference in people. Neither rich nor poor nor ugly nor good looking nor famous nor infamous. All are the same in that bright light of Christ. So remember that in the Eucharist. There are no differences in the people that receive it. Thank you for
for listening. with a spirit. 
spring of living water, we don't need a cistern. A cistern is a big hole dug out of rock in the desert to collect the water. But this one in Jeremiah's vision has cracks. We cannot do for ourselves what God does for us. And where we get into trouble is trying. We can only make cracked cisterns. But the living water of God is continually flowing. All we have to do is do. And we have to remember that no matter how powerless or powerful we feel in this world, we're the humble ones because we really have no power to pay God back. We have no power to do for ourselves that which God does, has done, and continues to do. <laughs> Everything else that we try to do is a cracked sister. Because we are powerless, truly, in the face of God. Because the one who pays is the one who has the power. Okay. Will you join with me now, standing in the front of the church tonight? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We believe in one God, the Father, and the Almighty, made her and her. Of all that is seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, O how unbeing with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to tell us the living of the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray for the prayer of the people. On um, uh, it'll be four and five, they found on page five fifty nine and In peace, let us pray to the Lord today, Lord have mercy. For the Holy Church of God, that it be filled with truth and love, and be bound without fault at the day of your coming. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, for Michael, our presiding bishop, for the standing committee, for Mary, our bishop of Marty, our bishop of that, for Melinda, our rector, for Gary and Jerry, our priest associate, and for all bishops and all ministers, and for all the holy people of God, we pray to you, O oh Lord. O oh Lord, Lord, have mercy. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease, that all may be one as you and the Father are one, we pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, have mercy. To the mission of our church, that in faithful witness it may preach the 
gospel to the ends of the earth. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For those who do not yet believe, and for those who have lost their faith, that may they, that they may receive the light of the gospel. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, that the spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and people. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those in positions of public stress, trust, especially Donald, our president, Steve, our governor, and Bill, our mayor, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who live and work in the communities of Billings, Laurel, Joliet, Swamp, and Fort Smith, we pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, have mercy. For a blessing upon all human labor and for the right use of the riches of creation, that the world may be free from poverty, famine, and disaster. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord, have mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer, for refugees, prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be redeemed and protected. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. For this congregation and for those who are present and for those who are absent, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all that we do. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. For our enemies and those who wish us harm, and for all who we have injured or offended, we pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, 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 have mercy. For ourselves and for the forgiveness of our sins, for the grace of the Holy Spirit to amend our lives, we pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, Lord, have mercy. For all who have commended themselves to our prayers, for our families, friends, and neighbors, that being free from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and health. We pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those on our prayer list, Jean, Rainey, Deborah, Sarah, Bob, Dick, Elizabeth, Carolyn, Kay, Ron, Harry, Lisa, Alan, <coughs> Chuck, Jer Jerry, David, Dave, Randy, Jim, Dick, Sarah, Gabby, Ginger, Gabriella, Mary Jane, Ashley, and Karen. Are the others? For those who served in harm's way in our nation's military, Alex, General, Levi, RJ, Chris, Jeremy, Meredith, Chad, Jason, Michael, we pray to you, O oh Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the communion of our church, especially Samantha Dunbar, her baby, and those who have faith. And those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the faith they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. Rejoicing in the fellowship of his mother Mary, St. Luke, and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. You are In the end of the cycle of prayer, we pray for the province of the Christian Church of South Sudan, Justin Dan of Rama, Rama, Bishop of Judah, Juba, and Archbishop of the province of the Episcopal Church of South Sudan. In our diocese, we pray for Trinity, yet Ennis Jefferson B. Leonard, Director. In our parish cycle, Prayer, we pray for the preschool, wardens, vestry, and parishioners, especially Marley Marson, Rose Lockham, Beth and Ted Miller, Mike McKinnon, Adrian and J Jason Lewis and Samuel, Paula and Nicola, Carmen Lawley and Judith, Judy Martin.
For yours is the majesty, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Now let us confess our sins against God and our God. Most merciful God, we confess that in the next few days, which all God, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have not done now, we have not loved you with our whole heart, we have not loved our neighbors and ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of you, our Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. That we may abide in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you and forgive you all of your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Would you like to say? Now the peace of the Lord be with you. And also with you. Be one another. Walk in love as Christ loves us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. And our uh, offertory hymn is in Wonder Love and Praise, number 812. <laughs>
give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love made known to us in creation. In the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil, and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray, you gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through Christ, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection unto your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country, where with Luke and all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And we us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.
continuing on page 365. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of the Lord's Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the fact of His body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Sacred Spirit, the One and the Three. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of God's hand. Amen. Our ascending hymn is number 344.